Hi, it's time for another verb of the day. Today's verb is laugh. Let's take a look at some of the definitions or ways that we use this verb. The first way you might hear laugh used is to mean to make sounds and movements of the face and body that are expressions of amusement. All right. So as you think of, of this first definition, I hope maybe you're, you're hearing in your mind someone going ha 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 ha, right? Or, or some other way, right? Making sounds that show amusement. Some people, when they laugh, they're, they'll move their head back or they'll bend over because they're, they're laughing so hard. They're making these sounds and movements to, to show that they are amused. A second way you might hear laugh used, it's going to seem very close, is to show or feel amusement or good humor. With this particular definition, I think I, I think about how we communicate through text messages um, and, and other apps. Uh, maybe you have used an emoji uh, that shows someone is laughing or showing or feeling amusement. Uh, you might have an emoji that uh, shows someone laughing so hard that they are now crying. Right? Other times, uh, maybe you've texted someone or, or they've texted you, H-A, 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 ha, 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 right? So they're showing or, or feeling amusement. Um, so we might say that that particular text, uh, the person is laughing. Right? Now, uh, a a uh, third way you might hear this verb laugh used um, is very different from the first two. So I'd say the first two have this really positive meaning to them. In the third, though, um, showing or, or feeling and express, expressing derision or contempt. So here, these are, are very negative feelings. Um, and you might be able to picture someone making these noises, but they're not doing it because they're amused, right? But they're they're trying to communicate uh, something you have done or, or something you're doing or saying is wrong and they don't like it. A fourth way you might hear laugh used is to mean to be in a fortunate or some sort of successful position. This particular uh, usage is, is less common, but I, I still like to be thorough um, so that you're aware of uh, maybe sl slightly different ways you hear this verb used. You should know that laugh is a regular verb. To make the progressive form, all we're going to do is add ing to form laughing. Our past tense and participle forms of this verb will be made by adding ed. The base verb laugh might might make some people puzzle. You see a G-H at the end, but it's producing an F sound here. So F is an unvoiced sound in English. So our past tense ending here is going to make a T sound. Laughed, laughed. Okay. Now, today we're going to focus on different phrasal verbs that use laugh. We won't do any individual verb tense practice today, but I'll try and point out some different uh, verb tenses that are being used. The first phrasal verb we are going to discuss is laugh about. This means uh, that you're finding something humorous. You might be giggling. An example here. They were laughing about how ridiculous the comment was. Right? So um, some group here is finding a, a particular comment, something someone said, to, to be quite humorous. And, and maybe they're, they're making those sounds that indicate amusement. So we're laughing about is an example of the past progressive or the past continuous. The next phrasal verb we'll discuss is laugh at. This can have a number of different meanings. We're going to discuss three. The first just means that we are re reacting with laughter at something. So an example here. You never laugh at my jokes. Right? So this is a simple present sentence. I'm describing somebody's habit or their routine of not reacting with laughter. A second way we can use laugh at means to ridicule someone with laughter. An example here. He laughed at my ideas and suggestions. 
So here, he he might be making those sounds like, oh, that's insane. Why would we do that, right? So that idea of ridicule. So here we're being kind of negative with this meaning of laugh. Um, he laughed at my ideas is an example of the simple past tense. The third way you might hear laugh at used is to mean to uh, dismiss something or maybe express contempt for something. So again, this has a, a rather negative uh, uh, connotation to it. So an example, did the whole world laugh at the U.S.? Right. Um, and unfortunately, we could pick a number of different situations or points in the past where something maybe uh, unbelievable, ridiculous, crazy, we could use a lot of different adjectives here, maybe happened in the U.S. And people in other countries are kind of going, oh, those crazy Americans or those stupid Americans or you take your pick. The next phrasal verb we'll discuss is laugh away. This means to dismiss something or, or try and neutralize it. So um, here we have to picture something negative has happened, but someone is going to laugh and pretend like, no, ah, it's no big deal or it's, it's not so negative, it's more neutral. An example here, the mayor laughed away angry comments at the public forum. So uh, this is, Something that can happen in many communities where public officials come, meet people, take questions, discuss things that are going on in the community. And here, maybe somebody said really angry, hostile things, right? And to try and make things seem maybe a little more calm or a little relaxed, right? The mayor laughs uh, those comments away. Now, I, I want to point out that Sometimes that attempt to make things seem less angry or less negative can actually make it worse, right? So someone might feel really strongly about a particular issue, they're sharing that idea, and if the person reacts with laughter, that could just make them even angrier. Now you're dismissing something I really care about. So be careful about laughing away things. The next phrasal verb we'll look at is laugh off. And we're going to look at two different ways that this phrasal verb can be used. The first is, again, to dismiss something. Uh, but here we're saying something is rather insignificant. An example, the athlete laughed off her injury and continued playing, right? So here, uh, whatever happened, um, maybe it's an issue with a finger, a foot, an ankle, who knows, right? but they tried to dismiss it. This isn't important. This isn't significant, okay? Uh, and I, I think I've forgotten in the last three here, did the whole world laugh at, the mayor laughed away, the athlete laughed off all examples there of simple past tense. The second way we can use laugh off um, is to mean to pressure someone to leave a stage. So um, you might think of, of different actors, singers, other performers um, in some way. And if the audience reacts with laughter at something that isn't meant to be funny, right, it could cause someone to leave the stage. So an example here, he'll be laughed off the stage. So in this sentence, um, it's a passive voice, right? So we're, we're not saying exactly who is pressuring this person. Um, and it's a passive future voice. So someone might be making a prediction like, oh no, this person maybe isn't as talented as they think. Others are going to react with laughter and force them to leave the stage. We've got a few more phrasal verbs to look at. Uh, the first is laugh out of, and again, a couple different meanings here. One might be to lose some opportunity um, because of mocking. Uh, let me give you an example, and we'll also talk a little bit about how this phrase is used. You just laugh yourself out of an invitation to the party, right? So maybe somebody announces, hey, we're going to do this, and someone else starts making jokes. You throw, uh, or, or uh, ridiculing, right? If we could kind of take that uh, connection back to a, a past one. So someone is uh, maybe teasing, 
you throw great parties. Maybe they're being sarcastic, right? And someone might respond, okay, you're, you're going to lose this opportunity. I'm not inviting you any longer. So what's common with this laugh out of is that it's going to be separated. And what you're going to see between uh, the verb laugh and then the prepositions out of is a reflexive adjective. So you see that with the word yourself yourself, myself, herself, himself, etc. Those are reflexive. A second way you might hear laugh out of used is to mean to cause someone to leave a place by, again, mocking them, ridiculing them. An example here. I'm going to be laughed out of the office if I suggest this. Right? So um, here, someone thinks maybe their, their own idea or what they're being encouraged to share or say is so ridiculous that others will mock and make fun of them. The last phrasal verb we'll look at is laugh with. This can also have a couple different meanings. First is uh, just to mean to laugh in a friendly way with some other person. You might hear some people make a distinction about an earlier phrasal verb, right? So many people will say, I don't want to be laughed at, right? I don't want to be what you're making fun of, but I will laugh with you, right? So we can laugh together about a particular topic, just don't laugh at me. So an example here. We all laughed with the teacher as she told the hilarious story. So we all laughed with, and again, another simple past tense. Uh, the first one you just laughed yourself out of, that was also simple past tense, and I'm going to be uh, laughed out of the office here. Um, uh, I'm using a little bit, bit of future. It's, it's not a true, uh, um, it, well, it's passive voice. Again, kind of future passive here. I'm going to be laughed out of. I'm not saying who is responsible for that action of laughing or mocking and ridiculing in this sense. Our last phrasal verb, laugh with, our meaning here is to uh, laugh as the result of some particular state or condition. Here's an example of that. The owner laughed with greed as he thought about how much money he would make. Right. So uh, imagine with me maybe uh, like a villain in a movie, right? Who's kind of going, <laughs> right? So the state or the condition here, someone is thinking about greed, uh, like how much money can I get or how much can I make, right? And and so that is is what's being illustrated there with that sentence. It's also simple past tense. Now, let's spend just a couple minutes looking at some related words and phrases. So, we've been talking about the verb laugh, but this word uh, with the exact same spelling and the exact same pronunciation can also be a noun. We're just referring to the act of laughing. An example here. Her laugh is so distinctive and memorable. Right? So I'm talking about uh, the noises, the sounds that this person is making uh, when they are engaged in this action. Another related noun is laughter. It's also discussing the action or sound of laughing. An example here, the crowd's laughter made the actors feel great, right? So I imagine this being a, a funny performance, right? So not something serious. If, if the actors heard laughter uh, or heard laughs, in that particular moment, that might not make them feel great because they're like, we're doing something serious. But if the purpose is to create that feeling of amusement, then yeah, they're going to feel great when they hear that. A related adjective is laughable. So when someone uses uh, this particular word to describe something else, they're saying that something is so ludicrous, so crazy as to be amusing. So an example, the latest report is laughable, right? So it's unbelievable. All we can do is, is to laugh at it. Um, a couple of phrases here to have the last laugh uh, means that someone is being vindicated, 
right? So maybe they shared an idea, a belief or something and others were kind of dismissive of it. But now there's been a change of events um, in some way. Um, and we'll say that person now has been shown like to be right or to be correct. An example here. The quarterback had the last laugh when he beat the team that had trade him, traded him earlier in the season, right? So we can imagine uh, a particular team, they have an athlete, and they kind of think like this person's no good, we're going to trade them away, right? Give them to a different team. And then that person comes back and beats the old team, right? So we would say they had the last laugh. The last phrase is to laugh all the way to the bank. This means that someone is making a great deal of money and they're doing it pretty easily. An example here, e-commerce companies were laughing all the way to the bank during the early days of the pandemic. So a lot of places. Um, we saw many businesses struggling, but some um, really had a sort of a productive or good pandemic. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great day.